The paper, Revisiting Burr and Northrop's The Electrodynamic Theory of Life, 1935, by Michael Levin, published in the journal Biological Theory in 2020, offers a comprehensive review and modern interpretation of Harold Saxton Burr's groundbreaking work on bioelectricity and its fundamental role in biological organization and morphogenesis. Levin highlights Burr's visionary perspective, which posited that electric fields are not merely byproducts of cellular processes but active determinants of life's organizational patterns. This reevaluation places Burr's work within the context of recent advances in the field, demonstrating its prescience and continued relevance. Key insights from the paper Burr's pioneering contributions. Burr is recognized as a foundational figure in developmental bioelectricity, exploring how organisms from trees to human beings are deeply influenced by bioelectric fields. His research spanned several decades, from the 1930s to the 1950s, and laid the groundwork for understanding how electric fields guide growth, development, and healing. Bioelectricity as a guiding force. Levin elaborates on Burr's hypothesis that bioelectric gradients serve as pre-patterns guiding morphogenesis. This idea, initially speculative due to the technological limitations of Burr's time, has since been validated by contemporary molecular physiology, affirming Burr's vision of bioelectricity as a crucial player in biological organization. Implications for Health and Disease the paper discusses Burr's insights into the relationship between bioelectricity health and pathology including cancer. Burr's observation that bioelectric patterns are altered in the presence of tumors presaged current research into how bioelectric signaling can be leveraged for diagnostic and therapeutic purposes. Philosophical and Methodological Contributions Beyond his empirical contributions, Burr is credited with integrating concepts from physics and philosophy into biology advocating for a holistic approach to understanding life. His emphasis on the importance of electric fields anticipated current interest in systems biology and the study of non-local interactions in organisms. Legacy and Future Directions Levin suggests that Burr's work offers a rich vein of ideas yet to be fully explored, particularly regarding the use of bioelectricity in regenerative medicine and synthetic bioengineering. The paper calls for continued research inspired by Burr's interdisciplinary approach to uncover new mechanisms of bioelectric control in development, regeneration, and the treatment of diseases. In the shadow of modern science's focus on genetic and biochemical narratives, Harold Saxton Burr's The Electrodynamic Theory of Life, co-authored with FSC Northrop in 1935, emerges as a pioneering exploration that bridges the gap between biology and physics, this theory posits that life must protect its bioelectric fields to sustain itself. Given the potential for artificial EMFs to interfere with the natural bioelectric fields of organisms, it becomes important to consider measures to protect these intrinsic fields. This perspective aligns with Burr's insights into the significance of bioelectricity in life's processes and underscores the importance of environmental health in the broader context of biological well-being. Practical steps can be taken to minimize unnecessary exposure to artificial EMFs. Learn to protect your bioelectric fields from sources of EMF like cell phone radiation at rfsafe.com.